I'll do a vlog, Josh. Good morning. We're at Anglesey. We didn't think we'd be at Anglesey, but here we are. It's an extremely nice day in terms of weather. Anglesey is not my favourite circuit uh, to drive around, but it is definitely one of the best circuits in the UK to look at. Anglesey, if you're not aware, is an island on the Welsh coast, so you get beautiful scenery like tyre walls, small stacks of tyres, there's giant tires. stacks of motorbike tyres, there's uh, all sorts of tyres over there, but most importantly, it's right on the seaside, so you can get a really nice view of, is that island over there? Where? That landmass on the horizon. No, I don't think it's that. Right. What's that then? The rest of this land, I think. You think that's the rest of this land? So, as per usual, Josh is correct. It's actually just another bit of Wales that you can see. <laughs> I think it's called a peninsula. That bit of land poking out into the sea. But yeah, it's uh, proper seaside. This, the water's literally just down here. Look at that. There you go, how's that for your B-roll? <laughs> We're gonna get the car ready now, because um, although I spent an entire video fucking about with it, I didn't actually do any of the important stuff, so we've got a bit of time before qualifying and get that done this morning. I'm creating panorama, because I'm using the media of video. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's nice at Anglesey. It's, um, it's not like your normal circuit that's surrounded by mud and trees. It's uh, surrounded by rocks and water. Two equally nice things, I suppose. A lot of tyres still. Tyres are probably the main thing that you can see. Now obviously it looks like glorious weather just now, but we are actually expecting some pretty bad rain throughout this weekend. So we've got the big old gazebo, which we borrowed off Dan, just got set up. So got a few little things left to do to make the car 100% ready. So we'll push it into the temp garage. So the first job of the day is we need to get some new rear brake pads in because it's been wanting these for a while. And then we've got to get the front brake discs cleaned up and then I need to go and drive it and make sure the pedal works. Chris is here, doing the same, getting his tyres warmed up. Track time has begun, it's uh, just after nine o'clock. Got the car ready, put new brake pads in, giving everything a check over. Pretty happy with it considering where we came from so next stop qualifying
qualifying's completed. We have qualified in fourth place. You probably can't see it on screen, but the car felt like it was pushing on quite a bit through the fast right-handers, which is all this left side, which obviously in my head I'm thinking, oh, well, I've just ruined that, so maybe something's breaking, but it's probably all in my head. Um, Chris got pole. We've not really seen Chris yet. We'll go and see him in a minute. Uh, the next race is not till pretty much the end of the day, so we'll do some vlogging. What's going on over here? They're doing some aligned. Oh, Pots. Camera appears and Pots is like, get me on screen now. So Chris has managed to put it on pole. Second meeting in a row. You're on pole at Donington, yeah? No. Oh, second. Oh. Brands Hatch. Brands was on pole. So not in a row, but Chris gone on pole again. Yeah, How'd you go. find it, Chris? First time here? Yeah, the circuit's very technical. Um, lots of understeer. Um, feels a little bit greasy. Trying to scrub in a new tire there as well. I'll see if that tomorrow. So he's still has excuses even though he put it on pole yeah. which you know he's got to make everyone else feel bad for not being able to keep up with him all right this looks ominous the dc2 has been for some severe rectification work since donnington he's been and had the engine tuned properly so he's got vtc now so he should be right on the pace he's actually qualified in sixth hey this is a nice rig isn't it look at that it's custom fabricated to go on a dc2 <laughs> or an mx5 or an mx5 apparently how did you get on uh, faster than we should, well, faster than Donington. Yeah. Engine isn't mint now, but I couldn't get it turned in anyway. So. That's the same for everyone, mate. Yeah, so. But I, I tried something new with the alignment for Donington. Yeah. Um, and I weren't happy with it. So, and it's some more or less how it was then. So, right. we go back to what we used to on. And... So, he's got some top secret alignment specs that he's very clearly not interested in sharing <laughs> with the internet. No, I just can't remember what they are. <laughs> But it seems to be a common theme that no one can get the car turned in here. Um, it's just Anglesey for you, shite. Anglesey's shite. We couldn't stand by and watch, so we've had to employ Dan's strings, which he's kindly now lending to everyone in the hot hatch paddock to help get aligned, because it was a little bit ragged. We're deep into the alignment. That's Josh's legs, Josh is under there. We're making notes, doing it all official. The car had some pretty drastic tow in, which is not what you need. So we're just giving him a little bit of tow out, a little bit of tow out. So that's the emergency wheel alignment completed. Found some other faults in the car, which is that the brake line's just hanging out on the drive shaft, not ideal. But he's got his team mechanic on that. Impromptu alignment over. We've now come to the scenic viewpoint. I don't know if it comes across on camera here, but it's like being on holiday. The sea looks blue. Safety car putting a fast lap in. So we are now watching the road sports race. It's very tight through this section here. Oh, they just pretty much had to park, man. the camera out to look at the scenery but you're not gonna be able to see it on camera at all are you? like it looks shit because it's just real far away i think we need to go that way don't we the um the next race is ahead of schedule so it's about four o'clock we think we could be getting called to assembly as soon as 4 20. Car's pretty much ready. I just need to pop a little bit of extra fuel in it for the race. It felt all right in quality, so not really changed the setup at all. See you on the grid.
was a good race. We finished in third, got the fastest lap of the race. Hence, I've been pulled into the scrutineering people who are going to weigh the car and make sure that we're not underweight. But the batteries have died in the scales, so we'll just have to wait. We were 1070, so 20 kilos over. I'm allowed an extra five horsepower, which is neither here nor there, considering I maybe have got slightly more than that by accident. It's not been proven, but the car does feel fast sometimes. Um, that's the end of today's racing. We'll do some more tomorrow morning when the forecast is absolutely terrible and it's probably going to be hoying it down. What are you going to do with me? Nah. Why? Morning. Miraculously, the sun is still out at Anglesey. We've got two races today. One is in the morning when the forecast is set to still be decent and one is in the afternoon when it's a 50-50 chance of it being hoying it down. We're going to get some brekkie. Josh says we're breakfast. We're going to have a little wander around the paddock which we didn't do much of yesterday because we didn't have enough time. We only had about six hours. <laughs> so we'll have a look around the paddock and um, Dan's arrived as well. So first find today in the paddock is this sweet cosy. Hosh tells me it's Mallard Green. Yeah. Looks like petrol blue to me, but apparently it's Mallard Green. Yeah. Morning. It's very cool, big old whale tail. When's the last time you've seen one of these, man? They didn't have any of these when we was at Snet, did they? What was it? Oh no, it was Alton when we had all them Fords, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's got case spots on it. Got all carbon stuff on the front too. Cool car. So we're just going to get ready for the race now. We just watched Dan qualifying and somehow it's starting to rain. I think it's maybe that one rain cloud there. It is forecast to rain in the afternoon, but hopefully we can at least get the first race in dry. Yes. Fingers crossed. So we just spent a few minutes checking everything over. We're not going to bother with any setup changes today because I liked how the car drove yesterday. It was nice and stable. We've got fuel, we've got oil, we've got water, we've got everything we need. So we've got a little bit of time left. Just get ready and hopefully another good race. We'll be starting P3 on the grid, I believe. Yeah. But the guy that started ahead of me yesterday, but kind of retired due to a technical issue, he's now back out with uh, no more technical issues and also new tires. So oh, really one to watch. Good.
that man there's just done me an interview so we might be on a magazine somewhere in print hey up noisy devils i'm trying to do a vlog here so that was a brilliant race finished in p2 best result ever second podium of this weekend we've got one more race after this the car felt really really good um, we did really good stuff off the safety car restart as well so we're hoping the weather holds it looks murky it looks ominous um, but one more race this afternoon we'll go and see chris who won the race again look at this double race winning car K24 power. There's the man, he's, a, he's in demand. Yeah, yeah. How did you get on in the race, Chris? Well, we've seen it on the onboards, we've yeah, seen how you got on. Yeah, well, you were filming mirrors, weren't you? Yeah, man. LG. Couldn't get away from it. Um, it was really squirrely out there, with a bit of safety car, and some uh, rain spots in the windscreen. I was like, oh shit, what are we going to yeah. do here? Like, yeah, we handled the restart okay, but I still couldn't get rid of you. So, <laughs> P1 and P2 for the EGs are brilliant. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm this, really... this track really kind of suits them. Yeah, I'm really hoping that on camera it comes across just how much Chris was driving that thing, because it was all over the place sometimes yeah, just hanging on to her. yeah keeping it in check man i couldn't keep up with him his car's fast man pulls away from me on the straights pulls away down that back straight hey i'll do you one thing you nearly joked on that <laughs> So there are some accusations flying about that my car might be a little bit too fast but by this point in the video you will have seen the onboards where Chris is just driving away from me down the straights and Chris will have seen it too so I think ho hopefully that'll have been all put to bed by this point but super evenly matched so evenly matched different torque curves that's all it is yeah
won the race again. Yeah, the triple. You've done the triple, yeah. all the points. Is there any points you didn't get? One. You st took the fastest lap in race. Oh, one, so I stole yeah. one point you from. All right, fine. I knew that already, that's why I said it. <laughs> uh, okay. Good drive, Chris. Yeah, good drive. Yeah. You'll have seen the onboards on the video by now. You'll have seen how good Chris held the lead there, especially after the safety car restart when everything was a little bit squiggly. I'll have to send you the reverse footage as well. Yeah, I'm always in the back the camera. camera. One day I'll be in the front camera. <laughs> yeah. Good race, Amos. Bye. Cheers, lads. Cheers. Thanks for your comments. Much appreciated. It's the quietest on the Huh? Good weekend. Good weekend. We've had a really, really good weekend. Uh, Instead of being in front of the podium, we're in front of Port Loops. But we'll have fun anyway, won't we? We'll have fun, won't we, Potsy? We always have fun. I'm going to treat myself to a bit of umbrella here. That'll do me. seen as it were dry uh, but we stayed and watched a bit of enduro there'll be another video about that so now I'm soaked but fantastic weekend for the little red civic we've gone very very well two seconds and a third place finish so I've got some silverware to take home let's hope we can do the same again at SNET next time we'll see you there thanks for watching